that gap you're talking about where Kamala Harris wasn't quite um, the presumptive nominee yet. What happened in that space? Did you have regrets about, about being so staunchly behind Biden? I mean, your lieutenant governor, Antonio Delgado, actually was a part of the chorus that said that he should step down, that it was his time to go. No, I said it was up to Joe Biden when he wanted to do it. Once he decided to do it, we move on to Kamala. I mean, that, that was not difficult for me. So what I also saw was there's an opportunity for New York Democrats to step up in the breach there. When others were thinking about, you know, who might, I, I, the other, we'll never really know what people are thinking, but it wasn't clear from the very first second that it was going to be her. So I pulled together, I did a Zoom call with all the New York state delegates. I said, this is who we want, we support her. And within a day, we were able to deliver the New York state delegation in support of her. As others were starting to line up, everybody started following suit. And, and certainly, President Biden's support for her was instrumental. So it was kind of a wave of activity over a very intense, compacted time frame. And here we are.